So I'm going to show you how I draw a typical bathroom in just any normal home. This isn't like a master bathroom and that would be a whole other video series on its own. But I'm going to be building a cabin and I'm trying to just lock down the design of it. So I want to show you how I go through building blocks, building like even finding free blocks and uh, just laying out the bathroom. So we're going to get into some hand sketches. This is one of my favorite just quick sketching pens, the paper mate. And I use also the paper mate uh, pens here, or pencil, I guess. Anyway, so for a typical bathroom, you're gonna have, honestly, it sounds stupid, three components. Shower. All right, so there's some common dimensions that we need to know for this. So a shower tub is usually anywhere from 32 to 36 inches wide. And then it's usually 60 inches deep. Toilet, I like to leave 36, 36 inch block, just as for space planning. And then uh, sink is usually 24 inches deep and minimum is like, I think, 22. Uh, usually, depends on where you get your uh, items. And they could be less deep too. They can uh, range to somewhere, I think, like 16 inches deep. But all right, so let's go to the typical layout. So since our shower and tub is usually, I like to use this quarter inch graph paper. So since the shower is usually three feet by one, two, five. Most bathrooms are five foot wide by eight foot or nine foot. So let's just draw the shower, which is 32. And then, like I said, I like to leave a three foot by three foot since this is half. We go one, two, three. I like to block out that space for the toilet. And that leaves at least two to two and a half feet. And it's two feet deep. That is the rough sink, the rough shower and then to somewhere in the toilet. All right, so which leaves access for usually a, I like to, most typical homes, the door, it's so weird, is 24 inches, but I like 28 to 30 inch doors, just cause I don't know, feels nice. So that's two feet is a 24 right there. Boom, or you can have your door here or you can have a door here. There's another typical layout that I actually like for bathrooms, so five foot. Let's go, there's the shower. And then I do one, two, one, two, three. Three, one, two, do a half. I like it where sometimes you could walk in the middle and then you've got your toilet here. You've got three feet clear. And then you got a small sink here. This is five. Wow, that's terrible. Five foot. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Six, eight foot. That's a typical size. The size I like to go with is somewhere about six inches or six feet. One, two, three, four, five, six by nine or 10 feet. And I always like the shower head on this wall. That way, we, and the valve on this wall. Actually, this one could be anywhere because I like for you to reach in and not have to reach over the tub or something because a lot of them put them on this wall so all the water's on one wall. I'm not a big fan of that. I like to have the shower head over here. So. Then we do a little fur out here. And then we still leave three feet open for the toilet. That's our little rough block. And then this gives us like four feet to work with for a vanity, which is a nice size. Some people build tight to the wall. I like to, if we can, introduce a gap of about two inches or more. This allows room for like a towel to hang and not conflict. And then you don't have to have like some weird 
if this is framed out of square you don't have to have some weird caulking detail or something like that so that's usually what i like to do and then of course a mirror above or sometimes a medicine cabinet that's recessed in or a proud re uh, medicine cabinet now a typical height for a sink is usually roughly 34 inches and that's typical most cabinets are like 36 inches uh, but usually sink areas are 34 and honestly that's just because of kids you know growing kids it's a little shorter for them and it's a little bit more uh, ergonomical for working with your hands or washing your hands and stuff like that versus a countertop at 36 when you're preparing food yeah and you can have the door come in here or what i'm going to show you in cad is i've got a, a door coming in here for a pass-through room and then to the living room I'll just bulb this up oh that's a dead pen that sucks these layouts are some of my favorite layouts um i was working on a container and you're kind of constrained to about eight foot wide so this layout is perfect for a bathroom either at the end of a container or a pass-through where you've got like maybe a Yeah, I'm the worst at quick sketches. And maybe a barn door over here, you know? That way you could pass through to the bedroom or some other room on the other side. So you usually have your shower. So yeah, so the main driving force for all bathrooms is the shower and tub right there. 60 inches, which is... So yeah, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into CAD and we're going to draw this up. Here we go, this is where we left off on drawing a floor plan. And now I'm gonna do the bathroom layout. I'm gonna show you a few simple ways to get free blocks. And I'm probably gonna cut the volume. Let's do it. Now I scroll down here. Boom, look at that, free CAD drawing. Whatever. Well, there you go, you got a free elevation drawing plan. So I'm gonna show you something. Control C. Then we're gonna bring it into this. Control V. So here's what we gotta do. Go back, spec sheet. Okay, we know that this is 19 inches, right? Okay. Scale now. Scale from when it's 16 and an eight. No, 30 and 11 16 That's the easiest one to scale up. Uh, this one here. And we're just gonna trim it. Then I'm gonna move it over. This should be 30, 11, 16. So 30 dash 11 over 16, boom. Now you select it. This is my favorite command line, enter. That means I want this to be that, and I want this to be that space, yes. And it just shrunk everything. Now I'm going to do another thing. I'm going to go into def points, draw center, and draw line there 0.5, 12.5. That's my rough in spot. C. But B for block, I'm just gonna call it photo will it specify always and I always like to specify this point. Okay. Now we're gonna move it to what layer we want. And we're gonna take these and we're gonna hit control X, click into it, give a visibility there I'm gonna rename this to top 
Two. Side. Hide all. Boom. Okay. Paste. Zoom out. Put our back. So we want to put that same point here. Right there. Do this control X. Go into visibility. And then we're going to do a new. Hold front. It already has hide all. Hit OK. And a control V. DR slash back. Move. Look at this. Now we got a smart block for whatever we want to draw. Okay, we want to get the side. Boom, there it is. We want to get the front. There it is. Oh, let's go back to top. Okay, now we're going to move this sucker. And we're just going to get it in here somewhere. So I like to go 18 inches. That way, that's a foot and a half in this. Let me reload all. So that gives me, I copy it over six inches. That's how much space I want clear for the toy. Now, this is exactly what I want. Is it? I didn't check the dimensions. Derp. 32 by 60 left. Okay, so now we're going to go into specification. And we are going to essentially draw just the pan, not all this funniness. Now we're going to go to our zero layer. So 32, 60. Let's see. Then I'm just going to offset 2.5. Because that's what it looked like that it was here, you know, 2, 2.5, whatever. And then we're going to go 8.5, 5, 14, and 5, 8. That's weird, it's not center. And do 8.5 by 14 and 5, 8. And I'm going to keep this one here and I'm going to put it on the def points layer. Circle. I'm going to do a 1.5 inch radius to drain. Send this to the back, select it all, B, Let's put delta, shower, in. and I kept that there so that's my reference. So when I frame, I'm putting it here. This is now on the plumbing fixtures. Now I need to stretch. Do, I need to stretch all these lines but that that point that. so this is kind of just my 18 inch reference line i'm gonna hit tr boom all right i'm gonna show you a few other quick tips i like to i keep cheap some people hate it I like to use uh, God Morgan for bathrooms. I have them in my current house. They've been lasting great. Let's see, how many inches do we have here? We have quite a bit. We have 61 inches. I don't want a double sink. Actually like this sink because it has like a splash and a side splash into it but they don't have it let me see open a new tab we're just gonna do piece by piece then so we're gonna go ahead and do measurements Thirty nine, comma three over eight, and its depth is eighteen and a half. 
18.5. I know there's like a four inch gap here, so I'm gonna go four. This is, is gonna represent the drawer. And do a cap and forty and an eighth by nineteen and a quarter. See that forty and an eighth, nineteen and a quarter. Here's what we're gonna do. Show you a little another little tip. Screen grab, control C, CAD, control paste. Then I want a dark layer, so I'm gonna do it like this. I wanna draw here to here. And that's supposed to be 40.125, 40 and an eight. Do the same thing. <clears throat> With the ellipse tool. Do a circle. Go to about the center. We're going to do 19.25. We're going to hit C and close it. We're going to take this, that, delete, this all, zero layer. Then we're going to move, center, know that centers, and it's got a slight overhang on all of it. We're going to hit block, Morgan, sink. Here, and I like to keep, like I said, about a two inch gap. So this now leaves us with 20 inches ish. This is essentially the bathroom finishes I'm looking at. You can't see the dimensions, but it's 12 and 5 eighths deep by 15 and 3 quarter wide. So we're going to draw that 15.75. 12 and 5 eighths. I'm gonna close that off. Let's see, I know the doors are about three quarter. Just drawing a door. I am going to rotate it. Draw a circle. Put this plan case hidden. And this zero layer. going to here's a little tip point to point draw a poly line snap your midpoint take that wind it back just kidding uh, and there you go we have a bathroom layout simply done now we're going to near it across the midpoint and now I need to stretch this, this, and now we've got our bathrooms. I put towel bars there, toilet paper holder on the side of this or on the side of this wall. It's easy. The so next video, we're going to go over kitchen layout. I hope this helped. Let me know if uh, there's any questions or uh, maybe even problems you're running into with the layout. Let me know in the comments and uh, love to give you my thoughts. Even maybe just do a video just for you and hand sketch out a solution. Thanks for watching.